The guidelines being implemented under the No Contact Apprehension Policy or NCAP needs to be ironed out. This includes complaints of operators of public utility vehicles who are forced to pay the fines for traffic violations committed by their drivers. The Land Transportation Office explains this as it appeals to local government units to suspend the implementation of the said policy. In an official statement, LTO Chief Assistant Secretary Teofilo Guadis III says they need to review NCAP to hold accountable the actual driver who commits the violation instead of the vehicle owner. He also encourages the LGUs to sit down with the LTO to rectify the issues. Guadis also emphasizes that the LTO is only helping the LGUs and the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority in the implementation by sending alarm about the vehicle in violation. While the LGUs are the ones who actually draft the guidelines of NCAP. Another issue that Guadis wants to study is when the vehicle is already sold to another individual and the transfer of ownership is not yet registered with the LTO but a violation of traffic rules was committed. A group advocating motorcycle rights agrees that the LGUs are not yet ready for NCAP's implementation. For example, uh, the rightmost lane is your turning lane. And then the second, third, and onwards, you know, you can use that lane to move forward. But some of the LGUs have changed the markings and turned two lanes into a right turn lane only. So these changes confuse the people. And when people are confused, they are bound to make mistakes and errors. Guadis believes that the objective of NCAP is noble, but it should first be fine-tuned for a stronger and more effective implementation in order to contribute to a smoother flow of traffic in Metro Manila. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News & Rescue, we serve the people, we give glory to God.